In this video, we'll be going through the fundamental navigation and views seen throughout the Zadara Compute UI. Upon logging in, you'll first be presented with the home screen, where you'll find categorized links to various resources and configuration pages. Along the top of the page, you'll always find the menu bar. On the left-hand side is a quick menu that provides access to these same resources no matter what page you're on. This can also be opened with Control-K and allows you to immediately type and search for a specific resource. Another handy quick bar is the Hot Actions bar found at the top right with a lightning bolt icon. This pop-up menu allows you to quickly perform actions like creating, cloning, or deleting resources. And it also has a shortcut, Control Period. If we click on one of these resource pages, for example, the Instances page, we'll be brought to a list view. Most resources by default will be shown as a list view, and they have a lot of navigational features in common. At the top left of the view, you will see a list of actions. These are context sensitive and will change depending on whether you have no items selected, one, or multiple. You'll often find that extra actions will be hidden under the More menu. At the right-hand side of the view, you'll see the filter options. You can filter and search by name or ID. You'll also get a list of resource-specific filters. In the case of instances, we have the ability to show or hide managed instances, as well as to filter by the various statuses the VM could have. Next, there's a drop-down menu for selecting the columns displayed in the list. Finally, there's an export button that allows you to export the current view as a CSV. Many resources also have additional views. In this case, there's a heat map view to provide a more visual overview. The underlying information is the same, if I mouse over these squares, I'll see the names of the VMs in that list, and clicking on them will give me a bit of detail on the particular resource. In the heat map view, we can use the group by feature to group and even subgroup the resources for a visual view. If we click on one of the VMs, we'll get a detailed resource view. Like list views, detailed views work similarly regardless of the resource type. The top of the view will show information about the resource, and the bottom of the view will provide tabs for associated resources, like volumes and networks. You'll notice that these are generally going to be familiar views, like the list view, with all the associated features, including actions, filters, columns, and export. One special type of view is the events view. It's very much like the list view, but with the addition of a timeline, which will show you green, orange, and red dots corresponding with the timeline of info, warning, and error events. You can click on these dots, or on the lines, to get details about a particular event, and, just like with list views, these events can be exported as CSV. Since events are very important, they're also visible across all your resources by navigating to Monitoring Events. The view is the same, but will include events from all of your resources, your VMs, VPCs, Elastic IPs, and so on, in a single timeline. As you may have already spotted, event views also provide a time range filter to narrow down on a specific period of time. One last thing we'll demonstrate in this video is project navigation. Users can be given permission on multiple projects within a particular account. Those projects may be VPC projects or DVS projects, we'll talk more about these concepts in later videos, and these have some resources and pages that are unique to one or the other. You'll notice a project drop-down menu on the right side of the menu bar. This particular user has access to a number of different projects. A couple of them are VPC projects and one is a DVS project. Switching between the two will update the home page and the menu to match the resources available in that type of project. In addition to updating the menus, changing projects will change the resources which are shown in each view. If we go back to the instance list, we can see that switching the project will update the list to show only the VMs within that project. One thing to mention is that account admins will be able to see all resources across all projects, regardless of which project they have selected in the UI. However, some actions, like using the connect option on a VM instance, will require that the user explicitly has permissions on that project and has selected it from the project dropdown. If you're ever lost, the question mark icon on the right side of the menu bar includes links to both documentation and the support center.